like to welcome you uh, this evening to a service of uh, Compline, a service of night prayer. Um, this liturgy uh, this evening is taken from the New Zealand prayer book. Um, before I begin, I'm just going to read the preface because I think it kind of puts things in perspective as far as um, liturgy and um, the ending of a day. It says, Night Prayer. The offering of prayer late in the evening by lady, religious orders, or clergy, often called Compline, has sometimes been described as the good night prayer of the church. It rounds off the day and prepares us for a quiet night. As the psalmist wrote, I lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Night prayer derives its content from the wisdom of the centuries in scripture and above all in the Psalms, but also from contemporary Christian experience of God. It celebrates the awareness that each of us who tries to pray is part of a, the human whole. So we are taken over the threshold from daytime, not in a mood of self-centered spirituality, but as representatives of humanity acknowledging our creaturehood before God. Let's just take a moment uh, to reflect on the past day, those things that we've done, the things that have been left undone, um, and let us center ourselves for, for a time of prayer. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early, and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for the, all that is good, and for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us on this planet earth, for the gifts of life and for one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my God, upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs that we have done this day. We have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be as known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia. Alleluia. Reading from Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains, but where shall I find help? From you alone, O God, does my help come, creator of the ever-changing hills. You will not let me stumble on the rough pathways. You care for me and watch over me without ceasing. I am sure that the guardian of my people neither slumbers nor sleeps. The God of all nations keeps watch like a shadow spread over me. So the sun will not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. You will defend me in the presence of evil. You will guard my life. You will defend my going out and my coming in, this night and always. 
Reading from 1 John chapter 4, beginning at the 18th verse. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and those who are afraid are not perfected in love. We love because God first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates a brother or sister, that person is a liar. For those who do not love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with love and lasting light will guard us through the hours of night. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Redeem through us our evil foe that we no lasting harm may know. O wisest guide, grant all we ask, fulfill us in your holy task. Surround us with your love and care and lead us on your life to share. All praise to God, sustaining us, redeeming and transforming us, thanksgiving in eternity. All praise, beloved Trinity. Let us pray. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. This is a different version of the Lord's Prayer that, that I offer this day. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, source of all that is and that shall be. Father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and Come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Amen.
God, our creator, our center, our friend, we thank you for our good life, for those who are dear to us. For our dead. For all who have helped and influenced us. We thank you for the measure of freedom we have and the extent to which we control our lives. Most of all, we thank you for the faith that is in us, for our, our awareness of you and our hope in you. Keep us, we pray you, thankful and hopeful and useful until our lives shall end. Amen. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears and the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, Christ be within us to keep us beside us to guard, before us to lead, behind us to protect, beneath us to support, and above us to bless. Amen. <laughs>